Oh, hi there and welcome. My name is Alex Popov and in today's tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to connect ClickView Desktop to Amazon Redshift cluster using Simba ODBC drive. So imagine you're a marketing manager and for your campaign you need to determine which movie or movies are more popular among the demographics of your target audience. And to answer this question, we're going to use the open source MovieLens dataset. There is also a SQL version of MovieLens dataset for which allows easy importing into Redshift database. Before we can continue, we need to find out a few pieces of information about our Redshift cluster. We can get this information from AWS console under Redshift. So I'm going to list of my clusters open up the cluster that I'm connecting to and I need the information about the endpoint both the host name and the port number so I'm going to copy this information I also need to give access to my cluster from the outside because by default it only allows connections from AWS network we can download the free evaluation version of Simba Redshift ODBC driver from Simba website by going to products and selecting Redshift. There's a link to download the driver. The next step is to actually configure the data source. Because I installed a 64-bit version of ODBC driver, I'm going to use 64-bit version of administrator. And I'm adding a new DSM for Simba Amazon Redshift ODBC driver. I can provide any name here and I'll use the server name from the endpoint from the Amazon endpoint in the name of the database we just created and to provide credentials to connect. And the last step is to actually test the connection. If you see success, that means the license and configuration information is correct. We can close and use this DSM name in ClickView. So let's connect that now to our Redshift cluster and do some exploration. So before we can do anything else, we need to load the data into ClickView, but I already created the script um, that does the loading, basically just loading every table and rename, rename some columns to um, define relationship. ClickView joins imported tables based on column names. So if the column names do not match, you need to rename them in the load script. And now we can load the data. So ClickView goes to the uh, to our cluster through the DSM we just created and fetches the data. Okay, got a thousand lines of ratings loaded. And now we can start visual visualizing it. So Let's do a, a simple visualization of the movies, movie titles by the number of ratings cast for each movie. That will help us judge the popularity of the, of the movie. So it's very easy to do in ClickView. We just need to add a chart object. Let's go to movies and we'll use the movie title and rating as the dimensions and for the expression or aggregate we'll use the count of rating okay we can set up a few more parameters like uh, how we're gonna sort our axes and the format our graph okay let's see what we've got so here's the basic chart and it's a little a little too much. There's too many movies on that list. So we probably want to limit it to top 10 movies. So let's do this. Just go to the dimension limits and we'll say just show largest 10 values. Okay, and I forgot we should probably disable show others, otherwise it's going to skew the value. And here, here's a nice graph of the most popular movies with the distribution of ratings so one is the lowest five is the highest so you can see star wars is the most popular movie um and then the other nine so let's uh, add a little bit more interactivity to this visualization let's add a few 
um, fields so that we can filter the graph by different columns. So let's use uh, gender, gender for example, as our filters. So quick view automatically fetches all the values in those columns. So now, for example, if we want to see the same graph, but just for comedy, all we need to do is click in the genre column and it will filter to show only um, matches and uh, movies matching this criteria. An example of a little bit more advanced visualization with a few more um, filtering capabilities. For example, you can not only see the ratings by gender, but you can also select a target age group, for example, let's say 25 to 35, and again, filter it by whether female or male audience. This completes this tutorial. For more information, please visit simba.com, where you can also find a quick start guide for Simba Redshift ODPC driver. Thank you for watching.